Wrong car. <laughs> of course I have the wrong car. Oh, it's like I have to go in the other direction. I can never ever find the car, guys. I'm one of those people, I can never find the car. It's not even my car. I just can't find the car that I am actually using. Never. There's a map and everything. I can never find the car. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's Friday and it's nice and sunny out, if not a little windy. I am going to go to a few bookstores around Montreal as a way of commemorating Independent Bookstore Day. Here, I'm going to see if I can find a copy of Thomas Hardy's Jude the Obscure. That's the mission for today. And also something with astrology in the title. I have a few kind of books that I'm looking for. Also, Hardy short stories. I'm preparing for the Misery May Readathon. I thought I would take you to some of the used bookstores in Montreal, the independent used bookstores. So, welcome to a mini book shopping vlog. Where's the car that I'm getting? I think this is it. I'm taking a Camino to a car. So I have to take a minute to figure out which car is mine. There are a couple parked on the street here. So actually the first, I should say the first store we're going to go to is a bookstore called Encore Books and Records. And it's in the NDG neighborhood of Montreal. So that's our first stop. Let's go. Encore Books and Records is a classic Montreal used bookstore. It's located in the Notre Dame de Grasse neighborhood or NDG neighborhood of Montreal on Sherbrooke Street, which is one of the main streets in downtown. And the store, the shop carries English used books as well as comics and records and CDs and even DVDs. Uh, so let's take a look inside. Oh, and Encore was founded in 2004. So it's been around for quite some time. Let's take a look inside. actually quite successful. I got three books. I will show them to you when I get home. And we're off to another great used bookstore in a little closer to my neighborhood in the McGill Ghetto called The Word. I've been there before. I've vlogged there before. But we're going back because we're still on a mission. The Word is an independent secondhand bookstore located on Milton Street, two blocks east of McGill University in the heart of downtown Montreal. The Word bookstore specializes in literature, philosophy, and poetry. A section located at the front of the store beneath a framed black and white photo of Leonard Cohen highlights the latest work of Montreal poets. The Word Bookstore was founded by Adrian King Edwards and Lucille Friesen in 1975. When they were living in Montreal, they taped a photo of George Bernard Shaw to their front window and set up an underground bookstore in the living room of their Milton Street apartment. So when the Word opened its doors for the first time, McGill's students and poets who had already been frequenting the apartment next door for poetry readings and impromptu literary salons were among their first customers. Not much luck. Uh, not much luck at the words. I didn't find what I was looking for and the place was packed with people. Yeah, I think that's it for me today. I'm gonna go home and 
take the dogs out and I'm going to continue book shopping during the week. I have three more independent bookstores that I want to take you to and introduce you to my favorite independent used bookstores in Montreal. So, so far we've done two. We're going to do three more and hopefully we'll find some Thomas Hardy short stories. Yeah. So happy independent bookstore day. Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> I'm in the borough of Verdun and I'm, I've come to this borough because there's a little used bookstore in this neighborhood that I don't think very many people know about. It carries French and English books and I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> but I will tell you when I get there. So that's where we're going and then I'm gonna hop on the metro and we're gonna go downtown to another bookstore that I love called, another used bookstore in Montreal that I often frequent called Cheap Thrills. So that's on the agenda for today. Librairie Les Bons Débarras, which translates to Good Riddance, was founded in Verdun in 2015. It's also called Vinyl Verdun. That's because it's a combination of book, used books and records in French and English language. So let's take a look at this cute little off the beat and track shop that I really like and that I wanted to show you all. Let's take a look inside. very successful and now we're heading into the metro to go downtown. So that was actually very successful. I don't think you're going to be able to hear me on the metro. The volume is going to be awful, but we're now heading downtown to Cheap Thrills, which is another favorite, another favorite shop, another favorite independent used bookstore called Cheap Thrills. At first glance, Cheap Thrills doesn't seem like a used bookstore, but the truth of the matter is that despite the fact that it's known for its used records, it carries a wide selection of used books as well. Cheap Thrills opened in 1971 and in 1984 it began stocking new records as well as used records, but as far as I know, they only carry used books. Uh, it's one of my favorite spots, so let's go on and take a look at their absolutely brand new uh, renovation and new location.
so cool in there. They just opened two weeks ago their new store. It used to be like this tiny little cramp space and that was their new shop. Now I didn't find, they had some really cool copies of some books, but I didn't buy anything. I didn't buy anything today. I'm still looking for some Thomas Hardy short stories. I'm having some trouble finding those. Um, but I did find something amazing today, which I'll talk about at the end of the video. Hello! <laughs> it's me in the car with the broken mirror. And this is like my third take because I don't know, I thought I pressed record, but I didn't press record, but I did press record. Like I'm very confused about what's happening. We are going to our fifth and final bookstore today to celebrate Independent Bookstore Day. The last bookstore that I'm taking you to is Phoenix Books. We are still on the hunt, y'all. We are still looking for Thomas Hardy short stories. I have my fingers crossed for this one. Maybe this is gonna be the day. I can feel it, it's beautiful outside. And, oh, spring is in the air. Spring is in the air. So let's go. Phoenix Books is located on Sherbrooke Street in Montreal. It's the same street that Encore Books is located on, which was the first bookstore that I took you to in this video. It's just a little bit farther west on Sherbrooke Street and a little bit maybe farther off the beat and track but it's a great little used bookstore and phoenix books hasn't been around as long as the other bookstores in the video i think phoenix has been around or i've known about it for about three years it's a great little bookstore full of vintage sci-fi and mystery books classics non-fiction lots of literature a bunch of Canlet as well. So I had a really nice time visiting there and I highly recommend it. We have success. Phoenix Books came through in such a big way. I was not finding any of Thomas Hardy's short stories. I was unable to find any of Thomas Hardy's short stories anywhere else, but I found not one, but two, two copies of selections of Thomas Hardy's short stories. Now I'm sure there's some repetition here. This is The Distracted Preacher and Other Tales. This is great short works of Thomas Hardy. <gasps> Yay! I'll have to take a closer look at these and see which one I want to read for the readathon. So exciting. It's so exciting. I had to go to five bookstores, but the last bookstore came through for me, A Phoenix Books. So Montreal used bookstores actually come through. They come through in the end. I'm so proud, so pleased. I also got a copy of The Return of the Native, which I probably have a copy of somewhere, but I don't have one in my collection. And I thought I should pick it up. I'm not sure when I'll read it, but it's, you know, what's really cool about this, or I think it's cool, it has a sticker. This is a wonderful thing about buying used books, is that it, if you can see, and it says Waterstones, and it has a date, and the date is, I think it's from 2003, the 29th of April, 2003. And I just think that's cool. That's just me geeking out over a used book. <laughs> And I did get a copy of Jude the Obscure. Look at the cover of this though. <laughs> like it's making me laugh. This cover is hilarious of Jude the Obscure. It's really kind of funny. Look at the look at the little kid. I don't know what Jude the Obscure is gonna bring me, but if that kid's face is any indication. <laughs> and then I had a really lovely discovery at the Verdun Vinyl. Oh, Librairie Les Bons Débarras which is the Good Riddance bookstore, which is kind of a funny name. I don't know what that means. I think it's a reference to a Quebec, an old Quebec movie. I didn't get a chance to speak to the owner about the name of his store. Anyhow, I found this nice little collection of Thomas Hardy poetry. So I feel like all in all, that was a big success. Thank you so much for coming along with me. And I guess if you're ever in Montreal, check out those used bookstores. And happy Independent Bookstore Day, everybody. See you in the next video. Another day, another day, another bookstore. And I just had to show you all this cracked mirror because I thought, oh, that'd be interesting to film 
in a cracked mirror. I don't know if I have the angle right because I can't actually see the viewfinder. <laughs> this might be an outtake. I always thinking of smart ideas for videos and outtakes, aren't I? We're going to another bookstore, y'all. And so yeah, I hope the audio on this isn't too much of a piece of wind noise. <laughs> um, and the last bookstore that I'm taking to you is the